collecting data the same way that Tesla does. Jackie. Oh, nice to meet you, Seth. Good to meet you too. You too. You just gave a speech. Oh, okay. Yes. To Indonesia. Yeah. About Xiaopeng. Mm -hmm. And you talked about your new hybrid yeah. system. Mm -hmm. You, Xpeng are doing, or Xiaopeng are doing an e-rev. Mm -hmm. And I asked you a question, why e-rev? Yeah. Instead of plug-in hybrid. What okay. Was, what was the reason? Yeah. A uh, little bit long story to say, you know, uh, from technical perspective, you know, so, uh, there's no, uh, actually, uh, very big you know, difference between how the uh, traditional P hat or you know the E rev, right? I think the the reason why so Xiaofeng you know so make decision to uh, to go that way for with E rev, right? Because you know so Xiaofeng start up from you know the so bad solution, right? Yeah. We have the you know, DV you know, some chemicals, and also we engage a lot for on on the, you know, the battery system, the battery cell, or whole power train stuff. Yeah. For, for pure battery electric drive system, right? And also, uh, I think the before we we make decision to move forward with you know, the e drive system, we do a lot of eva evaluation, right? Which way we should go, right? Yeah. And also, because you know, maybe you know, right? So the, a lot of you know, China traditional car makers OEMs, right? They they go with the P hat, right? Yeah. Uh, I think the uh, because they are start up, they are traditional OEM. They start up from the ice system solution right yeah um, you know and also they have to, they have to leverage OEMs yeah they're coming at it more because they've got into a combustion power train and yeah. I, this makes sense because the Ford Ranger plug-in hybrid mm -hmm. it's just a Ford Ranger with a battery stuck on the back mm -hmm. so does that kind of partly explain why they've done plug-in hybrids instead of e-revs because they're using a, an internal combustion car and they're converting it into a hybrid yeah I think the Right, yeah, for the for the PHAP solution, right, they, I think also you know, the increase in the battery uh, pack, and the, the host, uh, what I say it's the size of the battery pack to increase the mileage, right? It's one of the options. Um, but I think you know, so for the, for the from, from how the system and the cost perspective, they have to do balance, right? Because the PHAP solution, the whole power chain cost will be, will be country still high. So if, if they want, you know, so, uh, add additional, you know, so, Battery pack, right? To increase the, the bad mileage, I yeah. think that the, the price will be will be much higher uh, than what what they do now. I think the from cost perspective, you know, the P have uh, the plus, you know, the bigger size battery, the whole total cost will be uh, much higher than than what they do now. True, right? Yeah. And uh, so I think uh, it's kind of you know, the the, the trade-off, you know, the solution decision, you know. Yeah. And uh, and also uh, for the Conventional, you know, the OEM, you know, so they, they they invest a lot on the engine and transmission stuff, right? Yeah. And also, they have to leverage their uh, uh, technology uh, quite well, and then so to to make this uh, engine um, uh, efficiency, uh, uh, thermal uh, performance stuff uh, much better uh, than before, right? Yeah. And uh, so uh, that's the reason why they have to they share the resource for uh, on engineering stuff, right? But for, for Xiaopeng, because we start up from bad, right? So we, we engage a lot on the battery system, the e-drive system. So we, we know and also the battery cost will continue uh, reduction down, right? Yeah. Reducing, right? And also we do the how to the cost and study, right? In the future, if we invest uh, more on the battery, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's still cost effective, right? Sure. And also and for the engine, right? To be honest, it's very hard to uh, to get a lot of benefit because of this that that engine technology is pretty much mature. Yeah. Right. Maybe you cannot uh, do a lot in t to improve something. Right. They spend a billion dollars to increase it by one percent. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> so I think you know uh, what I what I what I saw uh, uh, before uh, and now you know so the Xiaopeng engage on the e drive right and also. Uh, Provide us a, a different, you know, the solution to 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 increase you know, the, the the BV mode, the mileage, right? Yeah. And also that can fix the uh, a lot of uh, concern and worry yeah. problem uh, from the, of the user uh, consumer, right? Because they are, they have a lot of they worry about you know the mileage, right? Yeah. If there's not enough, you know, the battery uh, pack energy, right? Yeah. And also if there's no there's not a, not a lot, you know, the charging stations, right? Mm. So it's, it's it's one of the major concerns for big for for 
for BEV, right? But for if you if we utilize you know this uh, EREX you know solution, right? Normally you don't you don't you don't have any concern about the mileage. If you run out of your battery, you can start up the engine automatically. Yeah. Right, charging the power to the battery pack and then to drive the vehicle continuously. So, so our our total mileage uh, with engine mode uh, is uh, over fourteen hundred kilometers. Kilometers. It's uh, good enough. How big is oh, the engine? Oh, we have two uh, versions. One's one. Yeah. This is one point five liters for for entry level. Yeah. Uh, e drive. We have one point five turbo for for B segment. You know, so bigger, bigger right, car. Right, bigger car. With an E-Rev, does it stay at the same RPM? Can it theoretically be more efficient than a FEV because it's because the engine is just it's only powering it's not right. power, it's not powering the wheels it's mm -hmm. only it's only recharging the battery. Yeah, right, right. So could it then be more efficient for that reason? Yes, yes. Because you know, sir, we, we do the you know the calculation and then the calibration to to tuning the whole go engine uh, operating uh, speed you know so proficiency to meet our maximum speed requirement. Yeah. But I think that uh, uh, I think what I know your concern or the customer concern. Maybe maybe you, if you run out of your battery energy, right, your acceleration performance will be degraded. That's yeah. true. Yeah. But you can still uh, meet the maximum speed. But I think that when you run some you know, sort of level uh, of the speed, uh, that, uh, the vehicle speed, right, your acceleration performance will be degraded because you 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 don't get enough power to achieve this uh, this higher you know, sort of, uh, you know sort of acceleration performance. Yeah. Right, but your maximum uh, speed can be achieved. Okay. Yeah. People have been complaining that in a FEV, when they buy them, that when they're towing, the engine has to kick in and it's mostly using the engine. Mm -hmm. So with an E-Rev, mm -hmm. that's not the case, right? You're just running off electric power because, yeah, yeah so with, in theory, it could be better for towing. Would that be accurate? No, that really depends on you know, so your uh, scenario. Okay. Right. So, uh, I think you know, so we have several you know, so scenarios or the, the drive mode options, right? To to make the you know, so whole system efficiency uh, balanced. In, in some cases, you, if you uh, one has a higher drive performance, maybe the, the uh, acceleration performance, right? Yeah. So your your whole means the engine efficiency will be lower, right? Yeah. Right. That means that you know the the, the engine efficiency map, right? Will yeah. be will be tuning, right? Yeah. To meet you know the drive performance yeah. based on you know the battery energy you know the left how much you know, left do you have in our battery pack so uh, to be honest that cannot be fully perfect you know to meet yeah. all the you know the drive scenarios yeah, okay. some of the generic will be will be trade off you know, trade off so, yeah yeah is the um, e revs you're making how how much electric only range will they have approximately do you know how much range they'll have just driving on the batteries uh, currently our uh, our all the entry level, you know, so segment of cars uh, can achieve 400. 400. 400. That's a lot more than the FEVs are doing. Yeah, currently, you know, yeah. The most of China the e e drive cars, uh, the mileage is just uh, 150 or 200 roughly. So you're doubling it. Yes. Why? Because you know, so no, no, no. I I said wow. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> we we, no, we do Why? a lot. Why it makes sense? Because you can drive it on the battery most of the time, right? Yeah. yeah. I think that we do a lot of surgery, you know, because you know, so I think the the, the auto, right? They 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 released. In, I cannot see the first, you know, the e drive, you know, the cars. That the the mileage is just you know, so two hundred, you know, um, kilometers roughly, right? Yeah. And also a lot of you know, so customers when they buy the car and, and they drive the car. You know, because in China, you know, the electricity costs is so uh, the fees are very low, right? They still yeah. want to, you know, so to drive the EV mode, right? Yeah. But in the, the, the BEV mode, the mileage is still short, too short. Yeah. They always charge frequently, yeah. right? Yeah. For for them, it's not so friendly, right? Yeah. So and also we do the you know the, the survey, right? So for maybe per day in China, you know, so most of the cities per day they, they need drive, you know, so maybe forty or fifty you know, kilometers, you know, so to cycles two times right yeah and uh, off duty yeah. on duty whatever right yeah and also per week maybe uh, 300 or 350 kilometers yeah. will be good enough yeah. charging one time per week right yeah so if if we can deliver over over uh, 400 yeah that will be good enough for one, one, yeah, yeah, one yeah, week yeah. to use one thing I've criticized when I've done videos about plug-in hybrids is charging speed they all charge very slow. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand why it's so slow. Oh. <laughs> why do they make it? Then you have to wait for half an hour to charge a small battery. Right, right. 
but you're not you you no. you guys are changing that no. because you know, so why we this is another reason we select you know so the the e right because you know, we leverage our uh, bad you know the technological solutions yeah we we, we leverage we use the same you know so battery cell uh, similar battery power pack technology using the same batteries that are in your new G9 X9 yes, P7 exactly. in the hybrid 5C, you know, 5C. The same same technology same cell so that's about near, about 480 kilowatt charging uh, yes 5C power rating is uh, 500 kilowatt 500 kilowatt so that's how fast your hybrid mm -hmm. will charge mm -hmm. that would be the fastest mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, in the yeah. industry yeah right yeah and also in the future we have another you know so uh, we will not, not we have we have the roadmap to continue to increase the, the charging proficiency, uh, maybe from five C to higher C, okay. or either six or either whatever E, whatever. So that's uh, what you're working on now. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think maybe next next several years. Uh, the what did you say? Eight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Country I cannot <laughs> tell more much more about that, but yeah. I think that you will see some. You know, yeah. you will see some. I think that's a big difference because I'm assuming the battery in your E-Rev would be what, what, 40, 50 kilowatt hour battery approximately? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Would that be about right? So yeah, was, yeah. That would mean that you can charge in 10 minutes yeah. instead of taking 30 minutes or 40 for some of the rides. Right, right. So country you also know, our, the 5C you knows that the charging technology can, they can support you know, so roughly 12 minutes from 10% you know, so, uh, associated uh, uh, from 10% to yeah. that means we can charge 70% of yeah. you know, associated to the battery. Yeah. Yeah. With uh, within the 12 minutes. And that's all your new models. Yes. G9, X9, P7. Yeah. We we synchronize you know, so the the design for all of new uh, vehicle uh, models released. Yeah. New G9, G6, G7, yeah. 